What's going on, party people? Chadwick here, one of your friendly neighborhood digital commanders, and today I'm going to play for you some Bioshock Infinite, what could potentially be the best game of 2013, but uh, what I'm going to do is just give you guys a little bit of a taste, just enough to whet your appetite to this beautiful world, let me reiterate, beautiful environment. Uh, totally fun gameplay. The storyline is mind-blowing. Uh, I already finished it. Actually, truth be told, I finished it on launch day. Uh, I pretty much just went beast mode on this game because it was just that good that I finished it within the same day that it launched. And also, I'm a gaming freak. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the game and show you guys uh, some gameplay. Bioshock Infinite. You can already hear the music in the background. It's, uh, it's very relaxing, very upbeat. You're seeing here um, the the alleyway, I guess, or one of the alleyways of Columbia is the name of the city in the sky. And we'll find out why it's a city in the sky as we play through the game. New game. The best of the best. Well, for you guys, we're just going to show you the storyline here. So, and I'll of course be quiet and let you guys see the storyline here. <laughs> There'll be a lot of uh, intro story here, but it's it's going to be well worth it. You. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Barriers to trans-dimensional travel. Uh, that person who said that is a, a key character in this game. 1912 Coast of Maine. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to show What's the this? burden? No, but I do expect you to do all the so rowing. So we are Booker and DeWitt. Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, we're okay. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. Elizabeth, of course, is the girl we've been sent uh, to get back from Colombia. And of course, uh, all will make sense eventually as you continue on with the game. These two characters that are in front of me right now on the boat, you will see them a bunch of times throughout the game. They are key characters uh, in, in the whole of this world, anyway, of this Bioshock. Again, as you play on, uh, everything kind of falls into play. It's a very complex story. You really have to just... Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. <laughs> Hey, is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. So if you've played, if you've played other Bioshock games, uh, you'll know that each Bioshock is kind of started with a lighthouse. Again, important part of the storyline, but that won't be revealed until you get to the end. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me. Of thy sins shall I wash thee. Hmm. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> or not. All right. Guess we're not going to wash our hands. We like to be dirty. Uh, as you go through the game here, there'll be a bunch of stuff like this. Containers. Uh, that you want to pick up, definitely pick up the coins. You're gonna need all the money you find. Is anyone here? Uh, depending on the game, I could I can be a bit of a scavenger, so I just pretty much check everything. And I clean house. 
I totally look around for everything. When I am dying, it's good when I am dying. It's good when I am dying, and it's good enough for me. What's really cool that I really like about this game, and you can see in the graphics here, is they really have taken a, a lot of time to immerse the player into the environment. So, uh, some of these songs are actual real songs that you're hearing. Oh, hello. Why is there a blood hand print? Oh. Yeah, I guess that would be why. And I'm going to guess he wasn't trying to trim his nails. With those. Oh, money. What the heck? Apparently somebody was just here because that cigarette is still a-smoking. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. I'm just going to walk... Mindlessly into danger. In New Eden soil shall I plant thee. Alrighty. Hey, look, it's the city. Guess I'm just going to keep going up these stairs here to the top. And there's a sequence here to these bells. And if you remember when I opened up the box earlier on the boat, it showed what I was supposed to do. That's what I was talking about. You really have to pay attention as you go throughout this game. Uh, things matter that you might have to use later. Wait a minute, that card. No, oh, there it is. Ring a ding a dingy. What in the world is that's not scary at all? I'm not gonna lie, that probably might freak me out a little bit being on the top of a lighthouse in the middle of seemingly nowhere. Are you looking at the sky? Look at this. This is where I'd be second guessing my journey here as this character. And probably be asking, am I getting paid enough for this? Is this really worth it to sit in this chair? All right. Looks like they expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I start worrying. Oh, that's the worrying starting. Okay. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. Oh. Okay. We're about to find out together. One. Ascension. Ascension. My beautiful, my beautiful balloon. Ba -da 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 -da. Balloon, ba -da 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 -da. Oh, Opa, look at that. Hallelujah. Lift off. It's so beautiful. Yep. Uh, this takes place in the early 1900s, by the way, just to give you some frame of reference uh, to possibly some of the dialogue that you'll hear, some of the buildings that you're seeing right now. That is Comstock, who created this place, uh, Columbia, and he's kind of turned himself into a prophet. Um, they have the, they have their own religion here in New Columbia, and he's kind of the uh, the top dog. Why would he send his savior onto us if 
we will not raise a finger for our own salvation. And though we deserved not his mercy, he has led us to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. Talking about Comstock and the creation of uh, Columbia here. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. Yeah, he's not full of himself at all. Well, no creepiness here. texture of this water. Find a way into the city, as if I wasn't going to on my own. Huh. Crime any Christmas. What is this? Oh, I don't mind if I do. The word of the prophet, which would be him. Huh. Loving it. Loving it. That's extra creepy. This place, for it being so pretty, it's also equally creepy. The welcome center. Big flippin' head looking at you. Confession. What am I confessing? The seed of the prophet. <laughs> oh, yes, her. That would be Mrs. Comstock, who, um, you'll find gave birth to someone important to the story. Don't mind if I take them, do you? Uh, just in case. Anything else in here? Here, oh yeah, here's a better picture of Mrs. Comstock. They don't think of her as a prophet, though. Uh, what is this? Yo, you guys get to see a, a Vox phone. This is one of the things I was talking about that uh, ties together with the storyline. The more of these you find, they, they put the other pieces together. So let's take a listen. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Keep talking that crazy. Oh, did I miss something? Nope. Books, books. Ooh, what's this? Psh, who leaves an empty bag? Really? Really? Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Best keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Seriously. Let's not let the crazies know that I'm not drinking from the same Kool-Aid jar. Why, thank you for the donation. I'll take it all. Can't, oh, yep, there it is, that is coins. That's so. Uh, I'm sure they won't mind. Consider it a donation to me. Yep, I'm not going to talk to him anymore. I'm afraid of what he's going to say next. And every year on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city. And to our prophet, Father Comstock, we recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down, is it someone new 
Someone from the Sodom below. Path Newly of forgiveness Columbia. is the only Newly way to the city. Huh. Our founders and our Lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Sure. Just, yeah, just get the there. hell out of my way. Glory be. Yeah, glory be. Glory be. Glory, glory. Move out of my way. I got stuff to do. Glory be. All right. I guess I'll have a nibble of the same crazy cookie as everyone else. In the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. Whatever gets me through the door. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean. Oh, I'm plenty clean. Oh, okay. Well, now I'll make sure. And apparently they want me to answer the door, so I'm answering. Housekeeping! Hello! You want me fluff pillow? Oh, that's weird. You ever open up a door and see that at the other end? Oh, not good.